you can apply all methods you learned to find Taylor series of real functions to their complex counterparts. In this video, we will encounter a few examples related to the geometric series. Well, you know the general formula of a Taylor series, around at zero, uh, sum n from zero to infinity, and the derivative in z0 divided by n factorial times z minus z0 to the power n. Of course, it's inconvenient because if you want to use it, you have to differentiate infinitely many terms. Fortunately, uh, we know so we have some known series like geometric series. 1 over 1 minus z equals sum n from 0 to infinity z to the power n provided normal z smaller than 1. And we can use this geometric series to find some uh, Taylor series of other functions just as we did in the real case. Uh, for example, if we uh, substitute a minus z on the spot of z, then we get uh, 1 over 1 plus z equals 1 over 1 minus minus z. So we have to plug in minus z in, in here in the uh, geometric series. So n from 0 to infinity minus z to the power n, which can be simplified. Minus z to the power n equals minus 1 to the power n times z to the power n. So there we are. If, if it converges, if the norm of minus z is smaller than 1, so it converges if the norm of z is smaller than 1. And we can uh, do uh, a similar trick. If you substitute, for example, 1 minus uh, z on the spot of z, then we get 1 over 1 minus 1 minus z equals 1 over z. Because the 1 minus minus, sorry, 1 minus 1 cancel out. Uh, we are left with a minus minus z equals a plus z, so 1 over z. Then we also have to substitute uh, 1 minus z over here. So we get a 1 minus z to the power n over there. Uh, we, can uh, we can take out the uh, minus sign, 1 minus z equals minus uh, z minus 1. So we got 1 over z equals sum uh, n from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power n times z, to the z minus 1 to the power n which converges if uh, substitute also as uh, 1 minus z in the condition uh, for convergence, which converges if normal z minus 1 is smaller than 1. So, next example. Take again some other center point. Uh, f of z equals 1 over 1 minus z, but now we want a center point z0 equals i. Ah, that's a bit annoying. If we would take a center point z0 equals 0, then we know what it is, and it's just sum n from 0 to infinity z to the power n. So we want to have something like um, 1 minus, so, uh, but now centered around i. Well, we, we know 1 over 1 minus z, okay, that's a nice one, equals we subtract an i and we add an i, so we get 1 minus i minus between the brackets z minus i, because we want to expand around z0 equals i, so we want to have a powers of z minus i to some power. So here we have our z minus i. But now we want something like uh, 1 over 1 minus rubbish. But we don't have a 1. We have a 1 minus i. Well, that's no problem. We can take it out. Then we get a 1 over 1 minus i. And then we have to divide here, of course. And now we have it in the desired form. Because now we have something of the form one, o one over one minus something which becomes small. So one over one minus z. Just keep this constant prefactor over here. Uh, one over one minus rubbish equals rubbish to the power n if the norm of this rubbish is smaller than one. So let's clean up a bit. So one over one minus z equals. Uh, z minus i to the power n in the numerator, uh, 1 minus i to the power n in the denominator is this additional factor of 1 over 1 minus i becomes 1 minus i to the power n plus 1. If uh, z minus i norm is smaller than norm of 1 minus i, which equals square root of 2. So you see, using the geometric series, you can uh, find uh, uh, also series of other functions. And um, what does this uh, range of convergence mean now? Well, we were expanding around i. Our radius of convergence squ is square root of 2. So we, uh, our uh, power series converges in the 
s in a disk around i is radius squared of 2. So we converge exactly up till the point z equals 1. Well, that's not so strange that we do not converge anymore at z equals 1, because that's exactly where we hit the singularity over here. So your function f of z, uh, your power series converges exactly up till from the center up till uh, a point where you hit your first singularity, because at that point f of z is not analytic anymore.